Paris Saint-Germain welcomed Nantes at the Parc des Princes, knowing that a win could take them six points above Monaco. And of course, it was Edinson Cavani, El Matador, the club and the league's top scorer who gave them the first goal. Angel Di Maria added a second, the former Manchester United winger, bending one in just before the break. Paris were in unstoppable form, but they did scare themselves when Prejus Nakoma pulled one back for Nantes. And if Ranieri's men thought they had found a foothold back into the game, they were sorely wrong. When Tatarusanu didn't steal the Pastore shot, Paris, who even scored one last one once again through Cavani, his 15th goal of the season, as Paris remained top of the Ligue 1. Monaco could have put pressure on Paris Saint-Germain if they won the weekend's early kickoff on Friday against Amiens. But it wasn't to be as it was Serge Gakpé who got the opening goal. Then Fabinho put it on a plate for Jovetic who equalised, but Monaco unable to get a win. Lyon could have put pressure on the top two this game at the new Stade OL didn't lead to anything as Montpellier resisted throughout the match a defensive performance which was rewarded Lyon unable to break down the block and they stay in third Nicolas de Préville got Bordeaux's goal in the opening two minutes after a mistake by Anguissa he bent the ball around Mandanda and after not winning Away at Bordeaux for 40 years, Marseille were headed for another disappointing match. But in the 94th minute, a long free kick played in by goalkeeper Steve Mandanda was then turned into the goal by Morgan Sanson. Opportunity missed to close the gap on the top three. Nice, who should have been at the top of the table and who were just two months ago, went ahead through Pierre Les Melu. But a resilient car kept coming back throughout the game, played good football and a fantastic cross to the back post was turned in by Ronnie Rodland with a spectacular volley, equalising Car 1, Nice 1. After being defeated 5-0 in the derby, Saint-Etienne were looking to get back to winning ways, but it didn't happen against Marcelo Bielsa's Lille. A first goal by Nicolas Pep was then quickly cancelled out at the other end as Dabo was fouled into the box, penalty given. Jonathan Bamba stepped up to convert the penalty, which he did his fourth of the season. But that wouldn't stop Bielsa's team, who reacted well in the second half. A fantastic goal by Mendes, giving them the advantage. Lever struggling since Oscar Garcia's departure. Lille were also able to add a third through Ezekiel Ponce as Bielsa's team continued their revival. Rock bottom of the league, Metz travelled to the stadium in Toulouse to try and get a three-point win, which would only be their second of the season. And after some early action which went Toulouse's way, it was the show of two goalkeepers as Albon Lafont and Thomas Didion put in standout performances. Strasbourg had only won two of their opening 12 games and they came up against their Ren side who were in form. But after Jeremy Blayac turned in his first goal of the season, it will be an upward struggle for Sami Lamouchi's men. Falken added a second as Strasbourg were headed for their third victory of the campaign. One goal was pulled back by Unu, but it wouldn't change anything to the final score. Trois were looking to get a win against Dijon and it started well when Souk, the South Korean, turned in his first goal. But then the home side came into their own Samaritano, putting it on a plate for Maria, missed the chance. And Julio Tavares put in his first goal. Tavares once again involved with the second. And there would even be a third goal as Dijon continued their solid start to the season. Guingamp and Angers had been slipping down the league table with bad results of late. 
Tuan Tambuara's men seem to have done all the hard work when Kamara turned in the ball at the far post. Only to be denied shortly afterwards by Christophe Kamrat own goal. 1-1 final score. Some big results in the Ligue 1 Conferama. A win for Lille. Paris Saint-Germain continue their impressive results. Marseille and Lyon only managed to get draws. At the top of the standings, Paris Saint-Germain look to be irresistible as Monaco, Lyon and Marseille all lose ground on the league leaders. Things don't get any better for Metz at the bottom who remain in the last position. Lille getting closer to safety after their win against Saint-Étienne. Saint-Étienne hosts Strasbourg in the early kickoff of the weekend. Paris Saint-Germain travel to Monaco as Nice also welcome Lyon in a weekend full of action in the Ligue 1 Conférence.